Well, hey, this is Alex. Um, in the mail a day or two ago, I got this fun little array of best cores in various conditions. Um, I don't know where they came from, but well, some dude on eBay, I guess, is the answer. But anyhow, they're kind of in this cool array, so I was thinking maybe I could uh, pick them in situ because they kind of hold each other in place. Let's see if we can make some progress with this little guy. Give him a little, little initial encouragement there. After I squirt things, I like to actually just use a Bogota, which does a good job of kind of working it into the, the works there, and then give it a little, give him a little twist. I think I can actually use bottom tension because these keyways are enormous. Interesting thing about most SFIC locks is that the there's they can't be paracentric because of the way that you um, pop the pins out. You have to come in through the bottom. Um, so there's always a little path there. It's not not always huge, but. Um, can give you a little, it means your pick has a little more room to work in there. Maybe top tension will be more effective. talked about before, the, how you apply your tension, the direction and the, because I don't have any choice in the direction here because I'm trying to go to control, but um, how you apply the tension with the top bottom and the amount of force and even just the kind of the direction that you're um, pushing the wrench can have a big impact on how the pins bind. Um, well, I got it to operating, so it's actually a rarity for me, but there's number one to operating. So, I'll zoom that in. Sorry that took so long, but it's really, if you, I don't you can't really tell, but it's kind of crunchy in there, so maybe he's uh, a little lubed up now. We'll give him a, he'll have a chance to go, so. So we'll work our way through and <clears throat> see what happens. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is Alex. Um, as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.